Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Today I want to talk about something that I'm sure anybody who's seen theatre a lot might have considered or even done at least once in their theatre going experience. And that's walking out. Walking out in the middle of a show. It's quite a controversial topic and the reason I'm talking about it right now is because a while ago there was a discussion on a theatre forum and a lot of people were posting uh, opinions that were very against the opinions that I have on this matter so I don't know, it was just a nice debate and I thought it would be cool to share it with you guys and see what you think. So when you go and see a show in the West End or anywhere else in the world, there is a chance that you're not going to like the show. Just like there's a chance that you might go to the cinema and not like a film that you see there. Just like you might try food and not like the food. People are different and things around us are different so not everyone's going to like the same things and you're never really going to know if you like something or not unless you try it. So although usually you try and avoid situations like that, there may be times when you go and see a show and you quickly realise that the show is not for you. Even if the show's had amazing reviews, you still might go and not like it. Now what I want to talk about today is, is it okay to walk out if you don't like a show? Or should you force yourself to watch the whole three hours of show just because you've paid to go and see it? Now my opinion on this matter is very simple. Of course it's okay to leave if you don't want to see it. You've paid for the ticket, uh, if you don't like it, you're completely allowed to just leave. However, there's a rule to this. I don't think it's right for people, for audience members, to leave uh, during a show or mid-performance, basically. In the interval, it's absolutely fine. But when it's mid-performance, it can be distracting to both the cast on stage and also the people around you, and I think that's quite rude. So if you go and see a show and you really don't like it, just wait until the interval and leave then. Usually most acts are about an hour and a half at most, so it's not going to kill you that much if you just wait out until the interval. But when the interval comes and everybody's leaving their seats to go and buy ice creams or programs and stuff, it's absolutely fine for you to just leave and go out of the theatre and not come back. I've heard people say that that's not right and you should just stay for the whole show. Why? Why should you stay for the whole show? How is you leaving the theatre in the interval going to affect anybody in that theatre? Why is that rude? Why is that a problem for anybody, really? It's your choice, you've paid for the ticket, you're not going to ask for your money back or anything. Everybody in that show is still going to get their money for the ticket. It's just you want to do something better with your time, and I really don't see how that's wrong. I've heard people use the argument that leaving in the interval is rude to the actors. Why? Why is that rude? First of all, most actors probably wouldn't even notice that you've left. They'd only really notice if you're like in the first few rows. But even if they do see that, like if there's one empty seat after the interval, they're professional actors, that's their job, they're used to people criticising them. It's not going to be the end of the world for them if they see a seat empty after the interval. It's fine, they're used to it, they just ignore it and they, they carry on, like professional actors should. But like I said, they probably won't even notice it, to be honest. And nobody else cares either, none of the audience is going to care. No one's going to care because you've paid for the ticket, they're going to get their money, you've just decided to calmly leave in the interval. I feel like leaving is actually a way of respecting yourself. You're respecting your wishes, you respect your time, and you choose to spend it in a more effective way because you know that you're not going to like the show, and I think that's more important than being rude to actors, which I still don't understand why that's rude, but anyway. I think it's everybody's right to leave a show if they want to. As I said before, not doing a performance, but in the interval when everybody else is up on their feet, is absolutely fine. However, there are exceptions to the rule, obviously. If you're very, very ill, or desperately need to go out, even if it's mid-performance, then of course there's nothing you can do but to leave, and it is going to be rude and annoying for the audience members and maybe the cast as well, but sometimes you just have to do it. Luckily, I've never had to do that before, but I have seen people do it, and if it's something that's out of their control, then, you know, what can they do? It's just uh, an unfortunate thing that's happened to them. But if they just leave mid-performance because they can't wait until the interval to leave, then that is rude, and I don't agree with that. Now, me personally, I have never left during interval before, but I've considered it at least four times. The first time was back in 2010 and it was a show called All the Fun of the Fair at the Garrick Theatre in London. I'm naming the show because the show's not in the West End anymore so I don't think it's gonna affect it in any way. But yeah, it was the first show uh, that genuinely made me want to leave in the interval. I absolutely hated it, there was nothing in that show that I liked, not even a minute of that show that I enjoyed. But I still stayed, I considered it very very heavily, I even left. I left the theatre in the interval, waited outside for a bit, considered my options, and then I thought I might as well just go back in because I was meant to meet some friends afterwards in, in Leicester Square, and I was watching a matinee performance, so I was like, you know, going back home now and coming back or just sitting in a cafe would be quite boring, so I'm just going to give the second uh, half of the show a chance. I wish I hadn't though, because like I said, I hated it completely. The only thing I liked about the show was the sets, and not because they were good sets, but just because they were very fun sets. All the fun of the fair was like a fairground place, and it looked really fun, but that's literally all I liked about the show. More recently, I seriously considered leaving during the interval of Stephen Ward the musical. Again, I'm only mentioning it now because the show is closed now, so I don't feel as bad saying it, but yeah, I really didn't like Act 1. I was so bored, and and although there were some nice aspects to the show, and I've mentioned it all in my review, 
it really wasn't enough to keep me staying there. I really, really wanted to go. The only reason I stayed for the second half was because I wanted to do a review on it. And in this particular case, I actually did find Act 2 slightly better than Act 1, so I'm kind of glad I stayed, but I still probably would have left <laughs> if I could go back and do it again. Now these are just two cases of me really wanting to leave an interval, but it has happened a number of times before as well. I've never actually acted upon it, I've never actually left an interval, but I have considered it seriously before, and I think the only reason I stay is because I'm somebody who likes to finish things. I like completing things. I always feel like I should just give the second half a chance, even if I know that I'm not going to like it. I kind of just can't bring myself to leave, and that's just me, that's just like my personal way of doing things, and I'm like that with pretty much everything. Like, even if I start a book, for instance, and I read like the first 50 pages and I don't like it, I still force myself to finish it because, like I said, I just don't like not finishing things, but sometimes I look back on things and I'm like, why did I force myself to finish that book, or why did I force myself to sit through a show that I absolutely hated and knew I hated from the very first moment they started? So yeah, I don't know, in the future I'm not going to hate myself if I ever do decide to leave in the interval. I think I have the right to leave and it's not going to affect anybody, so maybe one day I will leave doing the interval, but it's not happened so far yet. And I don't think that it will happen, just because I like finishing things, but I don't see anything wrong with people who do decide to leave the interval. Because it's their choice and it's not going to affect anybody in any way apart from themselves. They've lost the money and they want to spend their time in a different way and that's fine. So yeah, that was my theatre discussion of the day. Please leave comments down below and let me know if you've ever left in an interval before or if you've even considered leaving before. I'd be very curious to hear your stories or opinions on this especially. And yeah, that's all I have today. I thank you for watching as always guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!